Hello, beautiful souls. Do let me know in the comments, by the way, if that resonates with anyone. I haven't even pulled a card yet. That really just seemed to come out of the blue there, so I know that someone listening really manifested that message. And I always love hearing from all of you under these videos. I love building that sense of community with each other here. Again, like this intensified feeling of longing or heaviness, when you can see that something in the physical isn't yet fully matching up with its highest potential. Okay, so finally, let's get into shuffling the cards. Now, if you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. These are forms of energetic transference, and this allows me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you and your situation. So, here we have the sun in the reverse position. This is really interesting. This speaks to some kind of a delayed new beginning, and the sun here is clarified by the Six of Cups in the reverse position. This Six of Cups reversed can speak to someone who is holding on to the past, possibly seeing a situation for its potential rather than its current reality. And again, this plays perfectly into what we just spoke about. I'm hearing someone's guide say, you have this powerful spiritual gift of being able to sense into the highest potential of others, but you still have to honor yourself. This means your physical current timeline self and respond and react according to how that person is treating you in the 3D world. In other words, either withdraw your energy or set boundaries when someone is not acting in alignment with their own higher version of self. Even though you can see that potential, it's important to really honor yourself as the beautiful physical being you are in this current timeline. Now, of course, things can shift and grow and transform moving into the future, and we can always hold space for that. But sometimes, the way we hold space for the transformation of a connection is by having the courage to withdraw our energy or redirect that energy focus onto ourselves. I feel like that's a powerful lesson for the Divine Feminine here who might be feeling this pull of the past. I see someone metaphorically looking in a rearview mirror, so to speak. The next clarifier card is the Chariot in the reverse position. Divine Feminine, this card indicates that you might be emotionally feeling like you're not in control. You might be experiencing emotions that feel beyond your control, emotions that seem to come out of nowhere. This could even be a recurring theme in your life where waves of emotion hit you unexpectedly. It might not make complete sense, but these heavy emotions could be your subconscious layers processing out traumas or pent-up emotions from situations that occurred months or years ago. Trusting this process, even when it doesn't seem logical, is a part of surrendering. From Divine Muscular Type Yes If You Believe